Okay, cutscene. Cultists? <gasps> no! A crowd of cultists has surrounded a tech priest crucified upon a mechanism. And the rhythmic whispers repeated by a hundred voices blended to some blasphemous enchantment. Powerful discharges of the motive force run through the machine, causing the unfortunate prisoner's body to convulse brutally and forcing woeful cries of pain from his lips. The tech priest's hoarse voice echoes under the ceiling, in the clenched claws of stagnation and the shackles of iteration zero, under the iron wing, let the cycle be discontinued. Pascal's mechadendrites spring into combat mode instantly, and a wrathful rattle comes from his box. I'm registering a severe violation of the purity protocol. The blessed Emernet has been captured by heretics and is being tortured. Let's inspect the hall. Uh, the heretics have taken up position everywhere, and many more are dubiously, uh, doubtlessly hiding in the passages leading out the hall. For now, they are all focused on the sacrilegious torture of a tech priest and aren't noticing you. How is he bearing the torture? The devot a devotee of the Omnissiah is capable of withstanding great bodily torment with no loss of functionality. But where flesh reinforces the sacred iron will persevere, the purity of spirit may perish. I hypothesize that the heretics have made the blessed um, Amarnat a participant in some variety of sacrilegious ritual. Through sacrilegious torture, they're trying to break his will and turn him into an unholy terminal with which to control the reactor's outer power circuit system. Uh, we must save the venerable tech priest without risking his life. The mechanendrines point to the corpse of heretics lying nearby. We can use the blasphemer's clothing for disguise. Unrecognized, we can sabotage the power units overloading them, thus cleansing the hall of heretics. A lightning dis the lightning discharges have charred the cultist corpse. Whiffs of smoke are rising from their empty eye sockets, whose contents have ev uh, evaporated. Their clothes covered in the blood of innocence are crudely painted over with the emblems of the arch enemy, which exude a repulsive air of soul decay. I shudder with disgust at the mere thought of having to touch garments with unholy symbols, let alone put them on. This is the first step to a fall. A small resignation to evil will lead to a bigger one. Is there no other way? Oh! Oh. The signs of the arch enemy are not just painted symbols, but conductors of its will. The words of their prayers even spoken without fail. Their coats of arms even deceitfully worn. All of this increases the presence of the ruinous powers near you and draws their corrupt attention. Uh, I'm even curious what it's like to walk in a heretic shoes. I will don a cultist garb if that helps to save a worthy life. Like, I think that that's what we're going to go with. What is the essence of your plan? Uttering a litany of actuation for the power units from the Luminon Deacons. Command throne will direct the motive force created by the blessed reactor into the hall. The distribution servitors is keeping its output within the set parameters. Upon receiving an order to increase its peak value, it will turn this place into an electric trap. The safety system protecting the hall is controlled from the machine altar, which must be disabled. If all these operations are performed, I can guarantee that not a single blasphemer will survive the wrath of the Omnissiah that will be unleashed. All Don cultist garbs if it'll save somebody. I pray the Omnissiah gives the blessed Amarnat enough fortitude. Like, seriously? If it saves a life? A heretic's clothing clings to your skin like a greedy leech. A tingle and a morose fever spread over your body, as though those tatters have embedded themselves the vile contents of their former wearer's soul. Okay. Good. I look I look great. Tess, where are you? Tess, you look. I feel like we're the ones that have been humiliated. So we found our esteemed inquisitor, by the way. So that's good. Uh, the bad news is, though, we're now in the garb of heretics. And he might, you know, just decide that we're not worth it. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all. I am back. Now, I probably made a fatal mistake, which was uh, after we, like, did the last part, I stopped recording because I had been recording for a very long time, I have a, no small addiction to this game. However, I do realize now, in hindsight, I probably should have finished this part because we were in a um, kind of like a pivotal moment of the game. So I, I kind of have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. I mean, I kind of like have some idea, um, but... You know, just as a heads up, if this goes horribly, horribly wrong, it's nobody's fault but my own. 
kind of thing. Okay. Um, sorry. I think we have to shut down something. We're dressed like them. So then that way we can order stuff down to power down kind of thing. So, okay, here. I think we need this. A heavy crown of golden neural augmetics rests upon the servitor's head. The crown is bent and broken from the ruthless gun butt blows. Its pale body is covered in blasphemous inscriptions carved into its withered flesh. Identify, I identify this acolyte as a distributor servitor. I am registering upon its traces a sac of sacrilegious violation of the right of operation. The probability of its responsiveness commands is below average. So I've got a 40 and an... All right, so we'll try this. Try to conduct a restart ceremony. Not succeeded. For the glory of the Omnisaya, let this machine spirit sleep, that it may awaken and serve again. Pascal touches the servitor's crown carefully, deactivating one of its segments. Let the outer neural connection circuit be plunged in darkness. His next touch makes several of the lights of the crown go out. Let the command response hub fall silent. Let the command response hub fall silent. Pascal switches to binary speech, accompanying his every action with a line from a sacred hymn. It's amazing how the reverent awe in the tech priest's voice can be discerned, even through the rattly vox. Suddenly, every light on the servitor's crown comes alive. A shower of sparks bursts from the augment augmetics on the servitor's brow, and several black ash-tinted tears run from its empty eye sockets, ready to serve. Uh, energize the hall's power units to maximum. Will do. Okay, so we've done that. Check. Wait, 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 wait. Now, okay. We had a few things to do. Wait, we also have a... Oh, okay. This is, this is for... A okay. So, that's done. Now we need to utter the litany from the command throne and destroy the safety system. Okay. Uh, safety system. Okay. I don't know where the safety system is. Um, they really, like, we're really just one of them right now. Okay. Is this the safety system? Yeah. The altar is adorned with gilded skulls, threads of metal that used to be electus are fused in, onto the bone. Once majestic, the altar has now been desecrated by blasphemous images of blue-green suns. Some of its levers and buttons have been pried from their sockets. But the mechanism is still glorifying the Omnissiah with its operation. I identify this as a safety system control altar. In order for our diversion to be successful, it must be executed. For which may the spirits of this blessed machine forgive us. 90, 92. We'll go with this. Uh, cause the altar to overload. Uh, is we succeeded. Pascal offers a short binary prayer and then enters command after command to set up a trap for the machine spirit inhabiting the altar. The code born of, out of the tech priest's tinkering causes the spirit to flutter confusedly in a snare of impossible commands. Heat up the altar circuit boards and perish forever in the showers of sparks that burst from the melting wires. May we be granted the omniscience forgiveness for this trespass. I am registering a general shutdown of the security system. I like it that this, this isn't easy for anybody. This isn't like, normally you're like, oh, sabotage, whatever. That's fine. That's easy. Like, we'll just sabotage this, but this isn't. And you're, you're getting that distinct impression even now. Like, this isn't easy for Pascal. This isn't easy for, you know, the machines that you're doing this to and stuff like that. It's actually really well done. A grim-looking heretic walks up to you resolutely blocking your path. As he studies your disguise with suspicion, you note that his left eye has two conjoined irises and his right one a whole four. I don't know you. Who are you? Why haven't I met you before? Oh, boy. 60. 60. 80. All right. Throw up your hand sheepishly. You see, I'm new. Been sent here to slaughter unbelievers, and I'm only just done. Yes, we succeeded. The cultist smiles bloodthirstily. Aha, new one, that's right. Every newcomer must slit a false believer's throat to prove their loyalty to the edge of daybreak. Did you enjoy it at all? You don't have to answer. I can see you did. Go ahead, sister. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That That's great. Yep. 
these people seem real nice, like really great, outstanding, upstanding citizens at that. Attack priest's corpse, his throat slit, sits upon a splendid command throne laced with finely wrought motive force paths. A contorted expression of righteous anger is frozen on his face. A black blindfold covers his eyes. This is the Lumina Deacon's command throne. This is where the power unit actuation and shutdown litanies are recited from. The blessed Lumin Lumino Deacon himself has the honor of closing the circuit the motive force flows through. Ah, uh, toughness. Sit down on the throne. I'm... Yeah, no. So Pascal, kindly sit down and recite the litany. He freezes and a quiet whisper comes from his vox. Request declined. I am not authorized to sit upon the throne. Such an act will be considered sacrilege. Okay, 80... Mm. Okay. Do we persuade? Or do we try? All right. You know what? We're going to try it. Pascal, saving the relic and your mentors justifies a minor infraction. What did I do? He casts a scrutinizing glance at you and then nods reluctantly. Situation deemed an emergency. I request the Omnissiah's forgiveness for the transgression. The tech priest's body winces from the motive force discharge, but his vox begins to recite sacred words of litany as the mago's fingers activate the command runes with precise, unhurried movements. I am recording a success activation of the power units. I recommend vacating the command throne in order to avoid further damage. Cutscene! So I think we did it. Did we do it? Yeah, tech priest rescued. So we need to now go here, right? In the uh, preset cycles, there looks a flaw, the worship, the tech priest body convulses. Pained plane of creaks of the binary prayers come from his box. A moment pass, the signal becomes less and less clear as so though something twisted and wrong were being admixed into it. Pascal studies the tech priest's face carefully. His Vox system moans in a tragic vibrato. Subject unidentified. This is not the blessed Emernat. Stranger, I request your name. How do you know my mentor's motto? Yeah, all right, let's inspect him. There are deep burns all over his flesh, and the skin around his augmetics is charred. Blasphemous spells have been scratched into his sacred iron, forming unholy litanies of scrap code. It's amazing how robust this tech priest's life support systems have proven to be in maintaining the spark of life in his grievously wounded body. Um, Pascal? The subject has not been identified and has no record of my catalog. Interrogation is impossible due to the evident effects of effective state of clouded consciousness. Who are you? The fire of the hearth sent forth sparks. The name of this spark is Abel. The tech priest looks over at Pascal for a brief moment. The echo of my call has reached you good. The iteration is at its end. The design is fulfilled. What design? Why are you calling yourself by my name? Was it you who summoned me to Rakad Minoris? For what? I categorically request an answer. The voice from Pascal's voice rises to an intimidating howl, but the delirious tech priest doesn't seem to understand. Let's try to take him down. As soon as you touch the tech priest's battered flesh, he shifts his gaze to you and says with sudden clarity, Many sparks have gone out, but not all. The electric shepherds are still are alive in the darkness. I hear I heard their prayers. Find them, save them, recite the hymn contact of contact circuit restoration, that you may behold what is hidden. A charge of the motive force runs down the tech priest's body, and his face is contorted into a grimace of mockery. Malformed binary code repulsively jarring on his ears pours out of his box. The information achieved to the effect that the circuit restoration hymn is the entrance to the password to the Electro Priest hiding place. Pascal responds with the dour rhythms of a containment aria. I note with great sorrow that the cultist ritual has been partially successful. My tech brother has been tainted by corruption. He is in the grip of a schismatical and unholy imitation of the machine spirit. I request immediate activation of the Texorcism protocol. Ah, uh, what is that? An ugly mockery of a noble machine spirit created by the warp. Sometimes a few lines of despicable scrap code or a small clump of the motive force falls under the arch enemy's influence and degenerates into an abomination of this sort. 
One of those very existence is an insult to the Omnissiah's wisdom. So there must be a purpose. No, uh, let that witch touched. No, I'll help save him. Uh, the possessed man responds with a burst of repulsive laughter. Every now and then a gothic word or two finds its way into the binary obscenities pouring out of his vox. In what seems to be a schismatical tentative forays into a language that is alien. His body convulses, his joints twist at unnatural angles with the sound of bursting steel couplings. As, he, as the possessed man thrashes about, his internal augmetics emerge gradually through the hanging tatters of his flesh. As though an iron homunculus hidden inside the tech priest were trying to cast off the meat cocoon it no longer needs. Pascal's mechadendrites extends a thin drilling needle, a sacred... Uh, unguent glistens on it. A card purification aria is heard as the needle sinks into the possessed tech priest's skull and touches his neural augments, forming an electric circuit with it. Extreme strain is visible on his face. Furious litanies pour out of his box. Result failure, requesting assistance. Uh, so I've got a 92 and a 60. So we send a purifying charge of the motive force into the possessed man's body. May the machine gods heal you. We can recite the prayer or enough he's beyond. No. May the machine god heal you. So that succeeded. Undaunted, you grab one of the severed cables and press it into the tech priest's body. A shock of formidable power shakes the possessed man. Machine oil gushes out of his mouth. His vox hisses def uh, deafeningly as the flow of motive force burns into the corruption in his sacred iron. The overload destroys some of the circuit boards of his neural augmetic, res resets his code, and erases the schismatical from existence. The tech priest's eyes roll up. He loses consciousness, crushed, yet still alive no longer in the thrall of corruption with the utmost care pascal takes his body from the mechanism and lays it on the floor his stirring litanies of gratitude to the omnissiah echo through the hall rest tech brother we'll come back for you when we have done our duty to the miraculous fusion reactor lord captain the omnissiah commands a pious mind to strive towards uncovering the truth therefore i will not stop until i find my mentor and understand his connection to the servant of the machine god I request the privilege of joining your retinue in the full capacity of a companion. I can offer to fulfill my duties as an engine seer on your ship in exchange for the right to follow you and conduct my own investigation. Ah, uh, yes. 100% yes. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll just take all that and then deal with it later. Yeah, no, you can join. Come hang out with us. Y we're cool. Right, guys? We're all cool? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wasn't, um, new friend supposed to be here? Didn't we see him when we first got here? Okay. All right. So what am I... Just gleam a final dawn. Okay. Find this... Okay. We've got to find the surviving monks now. Okay. So we are now... <sighs> where though? Where, where, where? I guess at this point, we're just going to run around until, ooh, until we find him. Right? Like, we're looking for a hiding spot. Yes? Yes. So let's run around. Like, is there a... Spot specifically? We think maybe over here somewhere. What's about time for what? Oh, is that new? Too close, infused. Oh, okay, no, no, no. So, did it say? Mm. Uh, I captured rebels. Only protecting the relics control panels from the heretic will ensure its safety. So, was there an area? We're here. This is the outside. We were j oh. So we were never there. There's something here. Aha! No? Maybe? This is all new? I, I guess it connects. Oh! Hello! You shall be purified by the motive for blaspheme- Ah! Oh. I won't heed your cries of mercy. I'll turn you into corpse starch. Okay! Um, we've been ambushed, so I can't move us. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dun ba All this music? Why is this music so good? I'm gonna back Tess up. Okay, girl, let's do this. This is study enemies. You're gonna get these guys first. Nothing I can't do. We're gonna do this. Hey, girl. Why is your gun? There we go. That. Okay. I was like, why is your gun not working? <laughs> Whoops, a doodle. <gasps> you did. You weren't even supposed to be able to. I'm so proud of you. Tess. So good. Oh. Okay. All of this? Oh no. Wait, what does it do to enemies? Enemy weapons recoils instead of increases. Okay. Turns increased dodge stance weapon. Okay. So I think it's a... Does he? I don't know why this is... There was an update today. So I don't know if part of what we're seeing here is that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, you know what? F1. No? Um. Okay. Hold on. Uh, yeah. It's just weird that, uh, he has no attack right now. I'm just going to leave it as this for a minute. Okay. Okay. These are kind of back. Or is this just a, um, ambush mechanic? Oh. Just happened. What is happening during this fight? Okay. Okay, well, at least I got that. Okay. Do you want to come here? My place is at the fall. Yeah, your place is here. Making murder with my enemies. Okay, this. I should have done Reckless Strike first. That's fine. Someone else can do this. Okay, now this. Okay, he's dead now. Good. Um, let's do that. Study the enemies here. I think we already did that once, but you know what? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Does she have no med packs? Weird. Okay. I don't know why, but for some... Wait, can I do... Can you do this instead, though? Okay. That's all I got right now. Uh, what is this again? Fire grenade. Oh, she's down, too. Okay. Yeah, Tess, honey, you kind of do. Uh, apparently, right now, this is this is the the test show. It's a great show, though. We all love the test show. You missed the test show, missed Tess. Already done. Okay. Okay. We dodged. Good, good, good. Okay, Pascal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't... And I don't think you can, like... Change stuff in combat. So I can't... Do anything? Ah, uh, expose weakness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dun -dun. Okay, the frag grenade works at least. Good. 
And this is... Okay. We're just gonna keep going then. Okay. Abelard. Let's do Reckless Strike. Now the question is... Hmm. You know what? Let's just get... Like, I know we can get rid of him. And I feel like that's more important. All right, Adira. Please don't die. Tell your own future. Yeah, you got lightning back. You know what? Yeah, let's do this because the lightning might hit somebody else. Okay. Tess? Tess. Tess. We need to move here. He, he almost missed, but not quite. Okay. Done. At least he's gone. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. This music. Why is this music so good? Okay, Pascal can't do anything. Wait, I thought this guy died. There, dear. Go oh, wait, we parried? Right, he's going to hit Pascal. No, he's going for Adira. I'm sorry. I don't know who's who's worse. You know what? Let's bring you here. No, Reckless Strike first. Now, now this. Provided you don't miss, which you didn't. Okay, there's only one guy left. Let's see. Because I figured she could... Yeah, she could finish him off. I wasn't sure she'd be able to finish off the other guy. Okay. Phew! So, question now. So, you're... Everything's back. That was... Or not. Okay. So, that's back. Your stuff's back here. That was so weird. We're gonna just chalk it up to a moment in time. Benevolentia, we're getting there. Okay, doctrines. So, uh, ooh. So, what is this exactly? So, this is she. Oh, so. I see. So I'm going to be able to get these soon, I think, right? So now we're at the choose special. Oh, okay. Until the adept's next round, the target can't move. Until the end of combat, targets MPs are... Okay. Attack also cripples enemies' attacks. Ooh. Intimidates all enemies. Hmm. Target can also provoke... I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking the dismantling attack upgrade or this one. You know what? Number, th I guess they're all technically, but I'm, I'm liking number three. Okay, let's do it. So he has, let's do until the adept's next round target can't move. Let's give him that one. Dun, dun. Let's so daring breach grants plus ten to movement. Fighter does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Oh! Until the end of combat, the fighter gains four for each kill. Until the end of combat, fighter may use their MP. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! This would be useful. I think I'm gonna go with two for one round. The fighter can no. No, I'm gonna go with this. There's been a couple times when I've kind of wanted something like that, so. Let's see. Attacks also cripple enemies. Yes. Because she uses a lot of just like, like I use her a lot for the scream. All right, what do you got? Uh, four MP and their attacks don't spend. Oh, until the end of the combat, rifle is firing. Fire is increased by 30%. Until the end of combat, all marksman attacks are 20% harder to dodge. 
uh, area effect attacks. I think I'm going to go with this one. And leader. So apparently I have i didn't realize. I think I have been reading that a lot of people are putting stuff into the navigator skills for the commander. Or for the leader rank. So that's something that as we go forward, uh, I think I'm going to make sure that I do is put more points for her into like the navigator tree instead of the leader tree. Because I guess people have been mentioning uh, that that's pretty powerful. So that's something that I'll definitely look into doing. There, This turn targets all negative effects are immediately cleansed from the target until the end of the next leader's turn. Okay, target. Oh! Uh, three temporary wounds until the end of combat. Any kill made by the target uh, restores MP up to the leaders. Hmm. You know what? All neg I like the all negative effects are removed because that just seems like it'll come in handy. Okay. So, let's save. 